welcome to Tarot Predictions with me, Rod, and I will be your host tonight. And I'm so proud of such uh, attitude from my side because, to be honest, last night when uh, I made my first live on my channel, I couldn't even hope for that much attention. And you guys are amazing. And really, really, what what you did there and your devotions and your contribution to all my my thing, my project, it really almost made me cry. Well, actually, it made me cry. So, I do believe that um, this devotion and this attitude that you have has to be shared from my side. And uh, hi, Julie. And uh, so, I will do something for you as well, people. And uh, this will be made on Friday. I will do a, a live event where I will sit in front of you. Hi, Susan. Thank you, Claudia. I will sit in front of you here live. I will answer to your questions for free for a, an hour or maybe two. So all of you people who can't afford a personal reading, you can come on at Friday. I'll try to make it as comfortable as possible to everybody. Um, so probably it will be around, I don't know, I, I don't want to say a exact time, but it will be around, like, let's say, 7, 8 p.m. East Coast timing, something like this, so every so as, as more people as possible can watch it. However, <clears throat> now we are here to see what awaits us tomorrow. And as I promised, guys, from the last time, I will bring you something more sophisticated, something more complex than just simple three cards reading, at least for a daily reading. I will not do that probably for the weekly and for the um, for the monthly because it will take a lot of time. But right now, as this will cover all of us, let's make it, right? So let's shuffle the cards, people, and see what tomorrow will bring to all of us. As this this particular spread, guys, it's a six card spread, and it is meant more to make us aware of what opportunities we will reach tomorrow and what we can, you know, take advantage of, and what how we can maximize our profits for in, in our effort, how our effort can be appreciated from others. So, basically, with that being said, people, let's see what awaits us tomorrow. Hello, Mari. Hello. <clears throat> Romana, how are you? So the first card, card, guys, it represents how we have to start the day or what should be our attitude or the start of the day. And this is the night of sorts, people. Fantastic. So tomorrow, you have to be co courageous, if I'm spelling the word correctly. You need to be ready for action. You need to take some determined decisions there. So basically, something very, very important will happen at the start of the day and you have to take it with courage. However, all decisions that you make need to be uh, counseled or um, you have to synchronize them with the feelings of your heart. So basically, when you start taking that decision and when you are showing courage in front of the people, in front of the crowd, this uh, you need to feel actually what you have to do. I mean, when something feels wrong, you should not do it. So your choice there will be not to make it at this very point. And you can focus, channel your energy into something that could be really, really productive for you at this very particular time. That's why you need to be courageous at that particular point and ready for action. Because you, some, could waste their energy into something which will not give them as, ben as much benefit as something else can give them. So at the start of the day, when you have to do something, cancel yourself, cancel your mind, with the feelings of your heart and see if there is any potential through it. As you know, sometimes things feeling it are feeling like they they don't feel exactly right, you know, and you, you don't have to take them, is what I'm trying to say. Then the next card is the actions that will be most appropriate for tomorrow. <clears throat> and this is the five of wands people. Well this card as an action speaks that you need to seek 
the turn around event. So basically this card shows you that there will be a possibility for you to turn around a particular unfortunate situation, not without, however, you to confront the people who created it for you. And by this being said, this is why you need to show courage. However, the day will present you with some surprises that will allow you to do so. So they basically, we're speaking here, people, about <clears throat> no, no, Mary, this is not an Aries reading. This is an overall reading for tomorrow. Um, the weekly and the monthly readings, they will be done separately. So this is about, this concerns all of us and will show us the opportunities we have that we can take tomorrow. And it's what exactly I'm talking about here, is that you need to see these windows of opportunities and to be courageous to take them, <clears throat> to turn around a particularly un unfavorable situation from you. Now, you need to be aware that a certain conflict from this may arise, but these conflicts will not be unproductive. What I mean is that they will not be a bad conflict. From these conflicts and from these conf confrontations, you will be able to make some constructive actions constructive you may reach to a certain constructive you know solutions of yours so basically here we have the <clears throat> the implantation of the words that says that exactly in confrontations and in arguments truth is born then what the next card will show what you can rely on and this is people the three of pentacles perfect card when it comes to you what you can rely on and this is a, a teamwork or there are people there for you and you can rely on them to take one for the team to take a hit for the team so basically you will be protected and if you're not doing something right there will be someone there who will tell you that i will criticize you but in constructive way without actually shouting out in front of everybody look at him how bad he performed no just on the contrary he will whisper into your ear just so you can become aware of your own mistakes which you may do to, tomorrow hello stephanie which you may do tomorrow and the beautiful thing from it is that you will learn out of them you will learn and you will obtain a particular awareness particular skill partic particular knowledge in order to further your goal now this car however it is something the position of the car is something that you can go for so basically, this could be easily missed from you. You may not decide to listen to this person's opinion, to this person, <clears throat> to the teamwork, or to this person's criticism. And that may turn bad for you, especially as this car is such positive, has such positivity. As these people that will be around you and that they will want your, <clears throat> they will want your well-being, let's say, that way. And even if they're not presenting their particular opinion in the way that you may like it, it doesn't mean that it is wrong opinion. So basically, follow those who are most more experienced than you or attach yourself to those who have more, more experience than you into this particular field. And this is how you're going to have the most benefit from tomorrow. And you will be shielded from making a wrong step tomorrow. Then the next card is what you have to release or what you have to, you know, to detach from or what you need to put behind your back. And that's the Five of Pentacles. And there are a few ways here to interpret this card. For some, this will be the insecurity. So they have to leave behind the insecurity. And that card really speaks well when we combine it with the, with the Knight of Swords here, who speaks for courage and for taking very, very decisive actions, being ready to make an action. So you have to leave behind yourself the insecurity which the day-by-day -day routine troubles present to you. To, tomorrow is not the day for you to, to doubt yourself, to doubt in your position in work, to doubt in your relationship, or to doubt in your lifestyle as overall. So your mental strength should be a virtue for you people. And you, when, when, you're feeling, when you're feeling insecure, look around you. I mean, you're not performing that bad as you think you're performing. So here we are seeing a card for self-imposed doubts at this point, and you have to leave them behind. Then the next card 
<clears throat> represents what you will learn or what conclusions you will reach after that. And this is a perfect fit for the Tree of Pentacles because the Four of Swords first says that you, you need to contemplate on a particular one thing. If you need time to visualize it in your head, to create a plan for it, or even to ask for a counsel with someone, then you, you have to do it basically because nothing can be achieved on your own or at least nothing major can be achieved on our own. We are, we are a society. We are a society, I'm sorry. We are, we are the beings which have to act in a team. And this is what that card teaches us. So basically you will learn that not everybody is wishing you the wrong, not everybody is aiming your um, working position, not everybody wants you, to, wants you to see breaking up with your girlfriend. And there are people whom you can trust, whom you can trust. And also this card will make you aware that blindness activity during the day, it, it doesn't help at all. So if you don't have a plan, if you don't see for yourself how you can push your goal further, you need to take a break for a while, for a 20 minutes, for 30 minutes, for half an hour, well, for, for one hour, excuse me, so you can counsel yourself with someone that has the experience and move forward. So this card teaches you that not everything can be forced with blind strength. And at the end, we are having the finish or the result of it. Thank you, Lisa. And or the result of it. And this people is the eight of swords. So the result of all that. With this card, I'm seeing you that not all the help you will receive tomorrow will be sincere. What I mean is that they will ask you to take some additional obligations so the people can help you. Oh, this is a favor exchange, you know, and you have to be quite aware of how the favor which is asked from you will, will reflect to your routine, either in your work or in your relationship, because this card speaks for some imposed obstructions that you may create for yourself, obstruction that will bind you to a particular pattern and there will be very hard for you to take to um, escape from it. The only way to, es to escape from it, as a matter of fact, is you to make some actions or some maneuvers, what I like to say, that goes outside of the box or in general it is something that it is not accepted to be done. So you will place yourself into a very, very difficult position if you don't take all the responsibilities which will be asked from you with careful consideration by, remember again, consulting your feelings. So this was what we'll expect you tomorrow, people, and I really hope that all the decisions that these cards show that you have to make, and especially the courage that you need to show to jump toward the difficulties and toward the arguments and, and toward the <clears throat> being able, you know, to confront other people, especially to confront those who are not allowing you to move forward, will really shine from you and you will be able to, to push it forward. <clears throat> so this was your daily reading, people. I will keep doing these on a daily basis and I really, really uh, thank you for your support. Really, it was it was so appreciated. You have no idea, and that's why I will repeat again. Friday night, I will do an hour or two live events, which a live event every Friday, which I will answer people to your questions for free here on Facebook, and everybody is welcome to join. Basically, so if you do have a question but you can't afford a reading, this is the place. And this is the time where you can come here and ask me your question. And I will answer if I pick it. Because I can't answer everybody and I will pick, it com I will pick them completely random. So just so you know, people. So 
I thank you people all for watching today and it was really an honor for me to stand in front of you. You are such so lovely people and uh, I do read all the comments by the way. I try to reply to the people as much as I can and yeah basically thank you so much for your support and um, for your dedication and devotion toward me and I that's why I'm making this thing on Friday because I believe that the devotion and the dedication the appreciation has to go both ways and it will be my my way to thank you so yeah I hope people that this particular reading helps you for tomorrow and as always it was pleasure to be your host and people take care now see you next time